glad you stayed with us. Hope you enjoyed the videos on the channel. All right, this one we're about to see. Kronk Irwin of the Grunge Era. And in his corner, he'll have his brother Spank and their partner Brody Boogers. Now, Kronk is an interesting character. He kind of reminds me of a uh, more heavy metal version of Raven from ECW or WCW. And uh, the Grunge Era is kind of like a heavy metal flock or nest, so to speak, um, without the cult element. And then Tafu Anoa. And Tafu Anoa, as well as Krunk, have both had matches on this channel before. So if you're keeping track, you should be familiar. Although Tafu, I believe, was only in a, ba in a battle royal or two. Uh, whereas Krunk has been in a couple tag matches and a uh, couple battle royals. So, Tafu is a cousin of the Savage Samoans tag team here in Bushido Underground. And so, he is expected to do great things here. Very impressive young man. Krunk, the veteran of the two, and more experienced definitely not afraid to take a cheap shot here or there to change the tide of a match when needed so it'll be interesting to see how experience versus youth and uh, definitely different styles will play out Tafu more high flying more aggressive Krunk uh, on the other hand not so much more aggressive brawling and uh, hardcore also very experienced with tag team wrestling action let's go to the ring Jonathan Justice is waiting This match is set for a 15 minute time limit, one fall, pin or submission, or count out or knockout are the ways you can win. And Krunk off to an early start on the young Tafu. Tafu though holding on to the ropes, working on Krunk's arm now, short arm chops, pulling Krunk back into him after every chop. And Krunk now sends Tafu down with a hard elbow strike between the shoulder blades and a very high hip toss. Tafu answers with a hip toss of his own. And another one. Tafu now with a stomp to the midsection. Krunk back up, gets that headlock in, takes Tafu to the center of the ring, puts him down with a hard elbow shot between the shoulder blades, follows it up with a backbreaker now. Tafu putting some space between the two and gets the advantage for it. Going for the pin. Not even a one. Tafu now with an elbow strike between the shoulder blades, sending Krunk down. Ooh, Krunk with a hard power bomb. And a knee to the face to follow it up. High elevated hip toss from Tafu, though, as he gets back to his feet. Oh, and a jumping headbutt. That's never a good thing. Sends Krunk in. Krunk comes off to a power slam. Now baseball slide clothesline there from Tafu. And Krunk says, I'll show you how it's done, young man. Hits with a discus clothesline. Tafu back with a bulldog. Krunk staying with the more fast-paced Tafu, and so far hasn't resorted to any, uh, and we have two count, as I was saying, hasn't resorted to any cheap shots or hardcore, and, ooh, Tafu now misses the leg drop, I spoke too soon, there was a low blow from Krunk, an unneeded low blow, might I add, and a discus clothesline followed by a running knee to the face. Uh, Tafu, I believe, fell underneath that second clothesline, but back up, answers with a diving clothesline, 
And now baseball slide clothesline once again. Crunk sends him back down, though, with a sharp elbow to the ribs. Did not miss the leg drop off the top that time. And a second for good measure to make up for the one he missed. Drags him out now. Lifts him up. Tafu, though, locks in a snap suplex. Takes Crunk over. Crunk, though, gets back up with a knee to the head. And a running clothesline. Takes Tafu down. Anoa is pinned now from a splash off the top. The ref's arm was going down as he kicked out. Tafu's got to get back in this. And Anoa so close that time with the powerbomb pin. Ooh, tries it, but the grunge era up on the apron to stop the count. And Crunk now taking advantage of it. With a couple power bombs. Ooh, a power bomb into a code breaker. Crunk's own team is hurting him here. He had it, and the ref was distracted. Noah, though, with a snap suplex and a diving leg drop off the top. Drags him away from the rope. I thought he was going to go for a pin, but no go. Crunk sends him out of the ring with a suplex, misses the axe handle off the apron. Anoa now with an arm drag and they are fighting on the floor. Anoa sends Crunk towards the barricade. Crunk putting on the brakes at the last second. They're going to get counted out if they're not careful. Crunk back in. Anoa barely makes it in. Crunk with a short choke slam up to the top. Ooh, off with a flying lariat. And a small package now. And that gets the three. Crunk is walking out with the win. Anoa looking good. Looking very good in this match. 11 minutes, 25 seconds, though. With a small package. Crunk is your winner of the grunge era. 72%. Impressive for the young man, Tafu Anoa. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of him. Crunk, the veteran, the more aggressive uh, brawler, gets the win with, oddly enough, a small package pin. All right, we'll be right back with the next match, folks. Don't go away.